Hey guys, Nitno here. Today I'll be taking you on a tour of the sniper spots on the map Woods. Woods is a map well known as the sniper map in Tarkov, featuring a range of open fields and lush wooded areas. Every raid you'll hear the sound of Mosin fire in the distance. As night falls across Woods, the iconic sound of the Mosin fades and the thick boys come out to play. Equipped with kitted weapons, night vision, and thermal scopes, they hunt the woods boss Sturman and lay waste to players that cross their path. Welcome to the Sniper Spots of Woods. Alright, so we are going to start off over at East Gate. We have a couple rocks here that we can jump up on. Hop up here onto this rock. And we'll have a pretty good view of the checkpoint and all the way down through the forest. I personally like the other rock better, so let's go check that out. This rock just has more options, a better vantage point, you can see all the way down to Scav House on a clear day, and you can see Checkpoint. But the key here is this tree, you can kind of get tucked into it, and it gives you a little bit of cover, so you can take shots without people even seeing you. You can even actually prone. You have to get it just right though or else it won't let you look up all the way. And you'll easily get people going to checkpoint. Alright, the next point I'm going to show you is all the way down near Scav House. This big rock formation, you can actually jump on top of it. It's going to take a couple tries to get it just right, but once you do it a couple times, it's pretty easy. And it's a pretty surprising place to be. Not many people check it. It's a little bit quiet up here sometimes, but if you get people passing by you, then it's an easy shot. At the very least, if you get no players coming by you and it's just totally quiet, there are quite a few scavs to take shots at and get a little XP that way. Now we're going to rotate towards the lake a little bit. And these sets of rocks here, that's going to be your next point. This one's pretty common, so don't be surprised if you have company or you take a couple shots and immediately you have some people looking for you. That's an okay spot. This one's a little more common. You almost always see people up here at least once a raid. You have a good vantage point over the whole field, but like I said, it's so common that people are going to be looking for you right away. Next up, we're going to head over to Dead Man's Place. The set of rocks you can lay down on and prone. If you're shooting across the water, it's going to be a very long shot. I really recommend using a more powerful scope if you plan to use this spot. So our next spot is going to be right next to this the sets of rocks here sometimes you'll spawn right here and you know you're going to have people from the outskirts so you can kind of hunker down and look that direction you've got that bush for a little bit of cover i wouldn't stay here the whole time it's hard to look 360 around you and cover all your angles but you can surprise people coming up right there this one's actually one of my favorite ones i've only been able to use it to get kills a couple times but it's just so cool so you can go all the way up this tree and you can take shots at that field or through the trees here. It's pretty limited what you can do. Very few people know about this spot, especially if they're new to the game. The more veteran players will definitely know, but there's quite a few people on this map that might not even think about it. And next up, we're getting closer to the lumber yard. This one is very common again. Definitely, if you've been playing for a little while, you've probably seen someone up here. So expect if you take a couple shots, you might get return fire. Another nice thing about this area is if you got people coming behind you, you do have a little bit of cover from this rock. Definitely expect action here. And this one is going to be one of my favorites just because it's kind of rewarding after you jump up here to be able to take shots. 
It's kind of a nice little counter to the normal sniper spots, but this one is also pretty well known. If you take a couple shots, you're not going to have that much cover and you can easily get picked off. I wanted to include the truck as well. It's kind of a meme, but it's cool to know and it's pretty fun to do if you get a chance. You can prone in here, and then if there's anybody at the checkpoint, you got a clear shot at them. You do have a little bit of cover, but you're pretty screwed if someone gets a jump on you here. Next up is one of the most popular and most common spots in all of this map. This rock here. You are kind of the king of the castle if you can control it, but for the most part, you take a couple shots here and you got people creeping up behind you, you got people taking counter snipes. So if you can control it, it's a great spot, but you are pretty exposed here. This might be something you want to use when you're with a couple of buddies and they can cover your back. So we actually have two more spots in this area. The first one is not so great. I just wanted to show you it's possible. So that way maybe someone doesn't get to jump on you by using this. You can get up on this rock. You have to jump on the side and then kind of wiggle your way to the top. And I mean, it's kind of cool. You could get some angles, but you're totally exposed. It's just good to know. This next one is one of my favorites as well. This spot is not as commonly used and it's a great spot to counter snipe the more common spots. So if you hop on this rock and then hop over to the next ledge, you can get on top. I've honestly had people walk behind me and just walk right past me because I didn't even think to look up on this rock. You get a decent view of the lumber yard and you can also spot people creeping down through the woods. Alright, let's head up the hill now. This is probably the other most common spot that you'll see snipers, if not the number one spot. Just keep in mind, you do see a lot of AI scav here, so be ready for that. There's a couple points you can jump up here, but this one's pretty easy. Once you're up top, you can go up and down the ridge, and you get a whole view of the lumber yard and the opposite side as well. Pick a spot, any spot really. I like this little nook right here. You can get crouched in and get a little bit of cover from both sides. You can also prone here if you like. Gotta get just right. And then you get a little bit more stability with your shots. Keep in mind that there are a couple ways to get down, but you don't want to fall off. You can easily break your legs. Now we're going to head towards the coast again, and I'll show you another spot. Once again, this is going to be another really common spot. Once you take a couple shots, people are going to be looking in this direction immediately. It might be good for that first shot. After that, I personally would move immediately to a different spot. <laughs> Another trick you can do at the same spot though, it might be a little bit better, is hop over the rock to the other side. That way at the very least you have a little bit of solid cover. Alright, we are going all the way down the beach towards RUAF gate. This is a pretty decent one, it is pretty common, but you pretty much have full control of the area if you're able to claim it. If you do a little practice with distance charts and calculate how far that is, you might be able to hit a shot to Lumberyard. If you ever have, I'd love to see it in the comments. There's also another shot that's pretty crazy. I tried to take a shot here. So right here, I was only zeroed at 150. I do believe you need to be zeroed more like 200 to 250. Again, you might want to check a chart to get that correct but it's going to be a really long shot. Out in this field, there are a couple nice spots. Anything in this area, you're going to need a lot of patience. It's not very common that people cross this area, but it is good to know about these spots, whether it be for your advantage or to just know where other people can shoot from. You can hop up on this rock, 
takes a little bit of wiggling and then you eventually sprint up top and it's nice you get a nice view of the whole field from both angles pretty much i have actually gotten a few kills up here if you have the patience keep this one in mind directly opposite of the last spot is this next rock it's pretty much got the same sight lines with the added advantage of being able to see all the way down to the old station and that is a path that a lot of squads take when they head towards the UN roadblock. This next one's not super practical, but I just want to show you that you can get up on this rock. I suppose it could be a surprising place to be, but there are better options. Basically, you can just hop up on this, jump again, and you do have a nice little angle here, and you actually can see the old station. All right, we are getting pretty close, guys, to wrapping things up. I just want to show you a few more spots. This one is once again going to be in that path that people are going to be taking when they're heading towards the UN roadblock. So it is pretty common that you get a couple people here. Patience is going to be key. There are more exciting places to be, but don't be surprised if you see someone here one day. Lastly, this is going to be the final spot same deal as the last one you've got a nice vantage point for the area that people come back and forth from the UN roadblock all right that's gonna wrap things up guys I hope you found that helpful if you did I appreciate you guys hitting that sub button like button or leaving a comment either way have fun in Tarkov take it easy peace